Altitude can have effects on more than just exercise performance and uh, training performance. It can also have uh, effects on your health and make you sick and potentially even be deadly. One way it's gonna do this is with something called altitude sickness or mountain sickness. Uh, this is going to typically have an onset within six to 48 hours of getting to altitude of, so your arrival or ascent to altitude, and it will be most severe around two to three days after arriving at altitude. So after that, your body will adapt a little bit and the symptoms will likely uh, diminish or you've gone to sea level hopefully and uh, to get rid of the, the worst effects. Um, so some of those symptoms are headache, nausea, vomiting, shortness of breath, insomnia. Altitude sickness does have two deadly forms. Uh, we have HAPE and we have HACE. HAPE is high altitude pulmonary edema. Uh, HACE is high altitude cerebral edema. So we're talking about essentially fluid collection either in our lungs or on our brain. Both of these are deadly. So these are things that if someone's experiencing that, the only real treatment is to get them back down to sea level. With uh, high altitude sickness or mountain sickness, uh, the incidence, so the likelihood of you having this uh, occur to you is going to be greater with higher levels of altitude, especially above 3,600 meters. Uh, it's also going to be higher with a greater rate of ascent. So in other words, the faster you climb that mountain, the more likely you're going to get altitude sickness because you haven't given your body time to adjust to the different levels of altitude as you go. One possible cause of mountain sickness is gonna be a low ventilatory response to that altitude. So in other words, you go up to altitude and where you should be breathing more frequently and also deeper, your body probably does do that, but just not as much as it should. Um, and that's gonna cause CO2 to accumulate within your body and in your bloodstream specifically, leading to uh, an acidic bloodstream or acidosis and could cause a lot of these symptoms that we just discussed here and again, be life-threatening. Despite these potential dangers of altitude, um, they are fairly rare unless you're going to really high levels. Uh, uh, but a lot of people use altitude as a tool in order to uh, increase their endurance performance. And we're gonna be talking about that in another video.